world, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to a new video. Make sure you guys get this video to 10,000 likes. Let's hop into the My Player Tester. Hello everyone, glad to have you with us. My Player Build Breakdown and Real World Evaluation is coming up. All right, first off, first off, let's go ahead and change that camera view, my guy. Nobody plays on My Career Default. If you do, I'm sorry, I don't like it. We got to go ahead and switch to 2K because you know how I play. NBA 2K20, here we go. Tonight we'll see the Boston Celtics as they play against the Philadelphia 76ers. Along with Brian Banifatemi and Tim Sports, I'm Blake Suniga. What are you looking forward to the most tonight? I mean, I want to see this my player build, see what type of progress he's made, and see where his game's at. And beyond the skills, guys, I want to see his level of commitment. How much does he want it? You can be talented as anyone, but when the lights turn on for a game, you have to have that fire. Well, obviously the rise of the three-point shot the last four to five years dramatically changed the way teams are constructed. But beyond some of the more statistic-based adjustments, take forms. Some of it's team culture, chemistry, but, but a lot of it has to do with offensive styles and the combination of players that fit one another. Now here's my player. Six to shoot. Jacks up a three. They get it again. Launches it. Another miss by my player. His touch has deserted him this quarter, guys, and I don't know if it's ever coming back. Releases, and that one's good. Tatum. Inside, outside, it doesn't matter. Tatum is a complete offensive player. He doesn't just hit jumpers, you know. Now here's my player. The tray. Another miss by my player. He has disappeared this quarter, not making a mark at all with his offense. You know he'll be happy to get this period over and done with and just start fresh. Three of four from the floor to start, and that's a good sign. From downtown, the three-pointer is on target. So assured off the dribble. Loves when my player stops on a dime and delivers like this. And when you look at the prospect of being an MP point guard and playing with Ben Simmons, how would you guys coexist with a talent like that? Well, Simmons can distribute with the best of them, but he does struggle a bit with his jump shots. So if a point guard could come in and add a nice little shooting touch, that would do wonders for a potential backcourt pairing. Definitely, and he snags a lot of steals too. So I'd like to, to match that defensive pressure if I'm a point guard, knock those balls loose, create open court opportunities, and run the floor with one of the game's best transition players, Ben Simmons. Now here is Tatum. Over Simmons. And it's Embiid with the rebound. That's not a sight you see very often. He has a great feel for that jump shot, especially when he's open. He hasn't been able to get into that groove yet, guys, but as a whole, it hasn't affected them too much. Brown. Nice spin off the left rim and in. Love the way Brown squares up in the mid-range, getting his feet under him before releasing the shot. And here's my player outside from beyond the arc and then some. Terrific use of the crossover there to throw the defender off balance. I like that move. Yeah, got him on the wrong foot and bam, blew by him. Timeout called the Celtics. So both teams changing it up here. And we're just over three and a half minutes into the first. Walker outside. Tipped away. Orford with the steal. And that's going to be a travel. All right. I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. Um, I noticed this. First thing I wanted to make sure it was that it wasn't a bump still, but even though that is a harsh animation, and I also want to see how the travel happened. I remember seeing this in 2K19, so just letting you guys know it is still in the current build of the game.
the Celtics trail. Well, when you're talking about playing with Al Horford, if you're an MP point guard, what's your mindset? Well, you're playing number one with a versatile big that's deadly in the pick and roll game. And this is a guy that can either roll to the basket or finish at the rim, or he can even fade back and sink a perimeter shot. Exactly, Brian. So many different options in that two-man game. And as a point guard, that's such a big help. I mean, come on. I would know. You can trust that Horford will be at the right spots at the right time. Now here's Smart. And Harris comes to help. Pass to Walker. The three ball. And again, Boston no good. And here are the 76ers now. My player outside. Horford up top. The rebound by Williams. I guess even he misses the... There's Kemba Walker with the three. The shot, no good. The 76ers with the lead. Pass to my player. And they double up my player. Horkmas back to my player. Five on the clock. Sinks the three-pointer. Yeah. I'm not going to stunt. I tore Kimba Walker up. But there was one thing that I did notice, and that was an animation from me transitioning the ball into my shooting form after the step-back crossover. If you guys notice, that right there, the ball is kind of hanging in midair. Let me go ahead and get you guys a different angle. But, yeah, it looked kind of it looked kind of crazy with that hanging animation. I don't know if that's still going to be in the final build of the game, but in this build that we played at the 2K Community Day, it is actually still there, and I'm not sure if it's only with Kevin Durant's jump shot. But look at that hanging ball. Love this guy. You see how he plays. He has a love of the game, and and you can see it with uh, how he prepares, how hard he works, the way he interacts with his teammates and players on the other team. When he hits the floor, he is all about the game of basketball. Now here's my player. 12 points for him. And they double up my player to the inside. And it's Al Horford with the jam. With a huge frame and outstanding wingspan, it is no surprise to see Al Horford throw it down. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, it's been a long time without a bucket. Focus. Now here's Walker, covered by my player. Walker outside. He loved the versatility of Horford as a defender. Can guard a number of positions and can test shots. All right, so looking at what we've seen so far from my player in this one, uh, what's your guys' take? Definitely made some nice plays so far. I think this second quarter is going to be interesting because we're going to see what he does, and we're going to see if he can build on that impressive first quarter. Yeah, it's hard to know exactly how high the ceiling is for this fit. He's really still in the early stage of his career, but he seems capable at the bare minimum. Good take there from my player, looking determined to score despite the challenging defense. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. And the potential my player has is evident. Now it's up to him to reach those expectations. Second free throw, no good. When you think about the point card position, how much easier is your job if you're a my player playing with Harris? Well, Blake, it definitely doesn't hurt. You always have a consistent scoring option to dish the rock to. He's only averaged less than double digit scoring once in his pro career, and that was his rookie year. Yeah, Harris also collects rebounds at a pretty good rate, guys, and securing boards and getting your point guard the ball in a timely manner has always been big in the NBA, and Harris will do that for you. Now here's Williams. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points in the game. Langford, no good. 
He had all the space he needed, just couldn't find the bottom of the bucket. Here's my player. Steps back and drains the job, taking it right to the tin for the layup. The long three and the 76ers, another triple. You got to appreciate a point guard with the range to sink such deep shots. That was from Steph Curry territory. Now here is Langford. Past Ojale. Tice. Here's Ojale. From deep. Ooh, no luck on that one. And it's the 76ers with the ball. Seven point game, the biggest lead in the game. Here's a potential build that I'm sure intrigues you too. You're an MP playing point, and you get to team up with Joel Embiid, forming a classic 1-5 combo. Nothing like a great point center combo. The best one we've ever seen might have been the benefit. All right, so, so far, I just wanted to check the game stats, see if I'm stinking it up. I'm shooting 50% from the field and 56% from the three-point line. Not that bad. You know what I'm saying? Not that bad at all. But uh, let's go ahead and hop back into the game. Let's keep enjoying this experience, y'all. NBA 2K20. I mean, Schwartz combo from uh, way back when. But look, with the right skills, you could form one of those with MB because he's a guy who can play in the post and outside. So if you're a slasher that's capable of drawing defenders, it, it's an awesome pairing. Absolutely. Beyond the basic skills, a way to command respect from MB would help. Leadership qualities because Joel is a young guy. And I think he has lots of winning in his future. So bring that out as well with your My Player Bro. My Player outside. The 76ers, another miss. Pass to Langford. Offline with a three. We're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. My player outside. Sinks it. What range from downtown. They're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five buckets are from three-point range. The defense, they have to close out quicker. Now here is Tatum. Shoots. And it's Thibel with the rebound. Would have been lucky to knock that shot down. Yeah, his coach has a look on his face like, are you kidding me? And trust me, I've gotten that look for my coach. Shoot from distance like that, it is such a huge bonus. Now here is Langford. Tatum outside. They double him with my player. Here's Brown. And again, Boston no good. And it's the 76ers with the ball. They've only given up six here in this quarter. All right, guys, let's talk about the 76ers. A lot of changes in the league last summer. What types of players help complement this core group? I think it's pretty simple. Guys who can shoot the ball. Ben Simmons can handle dishing. Joel Embiid can handle the dunking. The strong perimeter play is a must. Yeah, I also think fiery young players would fit in perfectly. You know, players that are on board with the process and want to continue building momentum in Philly. Great looking defense to throw off his shot. Yeah, turned it from a simple, straightforward look into a very difficult shot. They really want to find that igniter here. That's right, their offense is ground to a standstill. Maybe you need to suit up, Tim. They need a spark. And yep, it's good. Again and again, they're, they're pounding the defense and creating high percentage looks from close range. And even under pressure in tight, they've maintained their concentration and converted their opportunities. Okay, this is something huge that I wanted you guys to notice. There is a new simulator when you go down and sit on the bench. This is fire. The clock runs out and we're heading to halftime. 76ers ahead, up 10. And we will see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball in just a bit. Well, boys, we're halfway home. What are your thoughts on my players so far? I mean, you love the decision making, right? Taking great shots and finding the. Canter covering. 
Richardson outside. It's Josh Richardson on the wing. And the 76ers get it back. Simmons. Persistence pays off as they finally hit a shot. Tremendous effort from Simmons. He might have point guard skills, but he can bang inside. Back to Walker. From downtown. Good on the three-point shot. Well, it's a good thing uh, he showed up today because without him, they'd be in much deeper trouble. High player outside. From past the arc. Rebound, Boston. They start the second half one for four. Walker with it. My players there. Some solid defense from Joel Embiid. Pass to my player. From the arc. Cans it from downtown. If my player can stretch the floor and distribute accordingly, he'll be making noise in this league for a while. Here's Walker. They grab their own miss. Tatum outside. Pass to Cantor. Now Walker, guarded by Embiid. That doesn't go either for Kemba Walker. And here are the 76ers now. My player from deep. No good there. Not quite enough defense that time around. Lucky he was off. I hope that was a mistake by the D because if that's how they plan to guard him, they're going to have some problems. And their offense scuffling a bit in the second half. Just one for five. And it's in. Well, with that kind of floor recognition, my player can be a dominant distributor for years to come. Walker outside. Pass to Brown. From outside the arc. He can't get it to go. Looking back to the 2018-19 season, this Philadelphia team had a lot going for it and still is one of the best teams in the league. Absolutely. They lost Jimmy Butler this offseason, but limited the damage by re-signing Tobias Harris to a long-term deal to stay in Philadelphia. And don't forget, they acquired Josh Richardson in that blockbuster Jimmy Butler move. And... He's an underrated talent who can make a big difference this upcoming season. But the one signing I really like was the Sixers getting Al Horford, another quality big man that I think will be huge for them this year. And the 76ers call time here. A new group getting ready for the Celtics. Clock keeps going. Three minutes into the second half now. Now Simmons. Five points in the game. Pass to Embiid. The rebound by the Celtics. Well, the defense was ready for him. Got a hand in his face and made that one much tougher. And that's something that every team needs. Rugged interior defense to just make your opponent think twice about coming down the lane. Langford with the ball. My players there. Fires the three. Tice pulls it in. And they're looking for some kind of spark here. Yeah, cold stretch offensively. They need a bucket. And that one's good. Langford. I like watching Langford drain the J right there, proving he's got the touch needed to do damage from that distance. What an exhibition he's putting on today. This is about as hot as you can get. Pass to Tice. Hayward. Fires from the line. And that one goes long. And this could get even more out of hand if they continue to put up points. What a performance it's been. High player outside. Embiid. Back to my player. Five to shoot, and they double up my player. Stolen by Williams. Outside, smart. Down low, Orford with the steal. That's break, Philadelphia. And my player throws it down. 
The veteran instincts there. Horford does a great job at sniffing out when to go after Steele. And it's the Celtics with the ball. It's an 18-point game. And the Celtics call time here. My player really making a difference here. He's been gunning from deep. If you're guarding him, you've got to get into his jersey. You can't sag off him at all, or you're just asking him to drop another triple on you. So both teams making some changes here. Right side, Williams. Walker outside. Pass to Smart. Here's Ojale. He's guarded by Simmons. Now here's Walker. He's guarded closely. Just five to shoot. Well, he puts pressure on a defense. Uh, that much is for sure. Walker gets to the foul line quite a bit. It's his first trip to the line. And that one misses. He hits the second from the line. A shoot first point guard who can fill it up in a hurry. Walker is, quite simply, one of the game's best scorers. And that one's good, my player. They came out of halftime smoking hot from beyond the arc. Yeah, and as hot as they are from out there, there's absolutely no reason not to just keep letting them fly. I agree, Brian. They should all have the green light. Here's Tatum. Al Horford with the block. A consistent shot blocking threat. Al Horford uses balance and timing to consistently send shots away. First free throw is good. During his rookie year in the 2018 playoffs, Jason Tatum was Boston's go-to guy in the Eastern Conference Finals going up against LeBron. A rare opportunity. Here's my player. And he has 38 in the game. Off target with the three. Smart with it. Over Harris. Smart. That's good. Well, as for them being behind in this game, you certainly can't put any of it on his shoulders. He's been tremendous offensively. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. 76ers ahead, up by... Well, it's the money quarter, the fourth. But heading into it, how would you assess my player tonight? Well, he's done an incredible job of shouldering the load in terms of scoring. And any time they need a bucket, they feel confident they can go to him. I'm impressed with his body language, his confidence. It just seems so in control of everything he's doing out there. And that one drops. The body control and agility, rare, considering Brown's size. And that's why he's always been such an intriguing prospect. And they double up my player. Pass to Horford. Let's it go! Poked away, but they'll get another chance. Smart with it. Now guarded by my player. Here's Tatum. And Jason Tatum slams it in. A lengthy forward who excels above the rim. Tatum has no problems getting up for the flush. Now here's my player. Walker defending. And here's my player. Pass to Harris. My player, Walker defending. It's good. Timely passing leading to assist. That's been the recipe. Everybody's been in sync. Just tremendous communication and awareness. 
Now Cantor. Al Horford with the block. Now here's my player. Guarded closely. Back to Simmons. And so it's going to be a three-second violation there on the defense. And the 76ers call time here. It looks like he saw some things out there that needed adjusting. And it's going to take a little time to talk it over. Yeah, and never a bad idea to use a timeout if there's something that's got you concerned. Here's my player. Walker defending. And they double up my player. And stolen by Smart. Launches the three. The shot by Brown. No good. My player outside. Pass to Horford. My player. Just five on the clock. Philadelphia the rebound. Smooth, guys. Very good job at getting himself in close enough so we could just uh, tip it back in. And those kind of plays on the offensive glass can tell the story sometimes, can't they? Yeah, one team usually wants it more than the other team. You can see with those offensive rebounds. Exactly. You know, they can't allow him to beat them to too many more of those, or they're going to pay. Pass to Horford. Picks it out to my player. Quinn can't hit from in close. What appeared to be an easy two points just went straight out the window. Right side, smart. Al Horford with the block. They're moving it up. Here's my player. Plenty of space. The offensive rebound. It's tipped. Now here's Walker. Covered by my player. Walker, well-placed jumper from the free throw line. Gotta play up on Walker. He is awesome at using any space he gets to pull up on the defense. And it's Boston's ball. Loud have come from very close range. And giving up these high percentage shot attempts, it's not gonna get it done. They need to figure it out. Pass to Horford. Richardson. My player outside. It's good from long range. What a luxury. Having a one like my player who can also score, rare to see that confidence early in his career. Brown, he's guarded by Richardson. And that one is stuffed right through. Flying high and throwing down the hard one-hander. One of his favorite moves right there, guys. A yeah, signature move. And he does it as well as anyone. I mean, just tremendous skill in the air. Outside smart. Out to Walker. The three. Second chance shot. Offensive rebound. Here's Brown. Another miss. Boy, they had their chance there, but couldn't get it to go. And they double up my player, Bible. My player from deep, Tatum with the rebound. And it's the Celtics with the ball. They trail by 14. And count it. Two points with a chance for one more at the line. Terrific body control. Athleticism Brown takes the contact and completes the play. One shot. And that one misses. 
For Brown, it's about consistently improving. Now, we've seen flashes from him, but now it's time for him to meet expectations. Here's Walker. The Celtics with another miss. And they are this close to putting it away. Yeah, and they don't need to do anything special. Just take time off the clock. And most importantly, don't turn it over. Yeah, don't pull a Tim. <laughs> Here's my player. The rebound by the Celtics. Right now, he needs to find another way to contribute besides shooting the ball. He just can't get anything to bounce his way this quarter. Pass to Cantor. There's the three. Good, and it's Kemba Walker picking up the assist. With a great offensive game, Cantor isn't merely a threat from the interior, okay? He can also bury the jumper. As well as he shot in the last quarter, it's been another story in this one. He just can't get anything to fall for him. Tatum, here's Brown, connects from three-point range. Determining the ceiling of Brown, how good of an outside shooter can he become? He may have already exceeded expectations. And so they foul intentionally. Now here's Simmons. So the 76ers win it. Bombs away. My player was straight cash from beyond the arc tonight. Shooting with confidence in this new NBA, how valuable are nights like this from MP? They are huge, Tim. I know you're no math major, Tim, but three is more than two. And look, beyond the simple addition, shooting like he did spreads the floor, forces the defense out, and it allows teammates more space and open looks. And for Tim Swartz and Brian Banifatemi, I'm Blake Suniga, and we'll see you next time. All right, guys, I want to thank you for watching this video. I was just doing a whole bunch of stuff in the third and fourth quarter. Really didn't care about how many points I were putting up. I was just making sure that I couldn't break the game itself by putting up stupid shots and doing whatever I wanted around the court. Um, make sure you guys get this video to 10,000 likes. Make sure you guys subscribe. Turn on notifications. More NBA 2K20 videos coming today. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is IKC signing out. Peace. Yeah, you can't watch this whole video without subscribing.